In a recent video from the conflict between Russia and Ukraine shows what seems to be the Enlar being fired at the T-72 tank with minimal effect. So how can such an old tank stand up against a modern anti-tank system? While the launcher is not visible, the missile can be seen for a few frames, which indicates it's the Enlar missile. It hits the very top of the tank with a small fire starting. So did the explosive reactive armor dampen the missile, or was the missile simply too weak for the tank? One main reason can explain the poor result from the missile. The Enla can be shot in two modes, direct attack for soft non-armored targets such as buildings, fuel vehicles or helicopters, and overfly top attack which is for armored targets such as tanks or armored vehicles. The missile explodes over the target and sends a shaped charge down being able to penetrate more than 500 mm of armored steel. While in the video this mode seems not to be chosen, but a much larger explosion should have occurred if it was fired in direct attack. This indicates that the warhead did not get activated. The Enla activate its warhead after around 20 meter so it does not accidentally detonate too close to the operator. The exact distance can be hard to determine in the video, but explains the small effect of the warhead. In these close combat situation, it's not optimal to use the Enla or the Javelin, but an RPG would be more effective as the hull of the tank is exposed, and an RPG is quick to reload. That's all I have for this video, please like and subscribe for more, thanks for watching, bye.